<laughs> Be Seattle versus away. Dallas. So I'm gonna go on record and say I got the Cowboys winning this game. Oh God. Yeah, I got the Cowboys winning this game. You and believe in Garrett? No, I don't. <laughs> when you think of Dallas, you always think of them kind of choking, right? Yeah. You know, and no kind of. Okay, this year feels different. <laughs> it feels a little different this year. Right. And the reason why is because they not. It ain't centered around the offense. It's centered around defense. Like they they come out and they get out you defensively. You know what I'm saying? They got Jalen Smith been balling this year. Jalen Smith is a dog. I wish he was on the Bears. Oh, but, boy, Vander Bosch, Vander Bosch, Vander Bosch, he the next Erlacher. He's a dog, yeah, man. Stop comparing this to the Bears, bro. Like the okay, Cowboys okay. ain't done. But, 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 but then, but then, but then, wow, Lawrence, Lawrence, Lawrence been a dog. Why y'all hate this man? No, no, no. Lawrence oh, been a dog for a while. Just starting his viewpoint. That's all. Lawrence, Lawrence been a dog for a while. Then you got Sean Lee. I know the commentators love Sean Lee. He's oh, always Fred hurt. Lamb. He's always yeah. hurt. But when he's in, he, he just makes a difference. They not lying, man. Dude, man, play. Let's call it spade a spade. And when he's out there, uh, he, he makes a difference. Oh, so he's he by the way. That's what you say? I never said that. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> right, right. Tighten up, goddamn. But, but I'm saying they defense look good. <laughs> this Seattle defense, when you think of Seattle, typically you would think defensive first. They're not that same. Eating, they're, they're, right. they're not a liability defensively, but they middle of the pack. 17 and stopping the pass, 13 for stopping the run. They're middle of the pack. Mm -hmm. uh, what, the Cowboys is 13 for stopping the pass. 17 for the In the top five for stopping the run. It's a different vibe this year. Uh, and I think uh, Dallas is entering the playoffs with a lot of confidence. And they know, they know what their history in the playoffs is of, of choking recently. I think somehow, some way, they get it done. And it's it's led by the defense. And I'll say one more thing before I uh, pass it to Chris. Russell Wilson's offensive line is not good. He got sacked six times last game. I know that's just last game, but this has been a story this season with Seattle. They don't protect him good. So you know what Seattle likes to do? They like to try to get the ball out quickly. I think Dallas comes prepared for that this game. I got $24, $21. Dollars. Okay, so a three-point game. Who the X-Factor for Dallas? Uh, the X-Factor for Dallas is uh, Jason Garrett. Uh, Lawrence at uh, defense end. That's the X-Factor. Okay, get okay, that first shot to Wilson. It could be a long night for Wilson. Yeah. Okay, go ahead, Chris. I, I, mean, it's I got Seattle 27-17, and I think the problem is this, man. I think one of the games that Dallas like really like exposed themselves was, was that Colts game. And all the back out here. Grandpa, above 30 against them. Seattle's number one. How many points that will be? Man, they put up goose head. <laughs> they put up goose head. Mm -hmm. But another thing, Seattle got the number one rushing league team in the league. Number two, y'all look at it too. That old line, like the six sacks last week, two of the members of the old line was out. Sweezy come back and Fluker come back and Fluker is a legendary run blocker, straight from Bama. And Sweezy is out here like one of the top run back, you know, one blocking, you know, old, old line. They got Carson, they got Penny, they got Rashad Davis and everything. Carson don't get it. And the thing is, like, the problem is with Dallas, man, at the end of the day, you got Pete Carroll and Russell Wilson mm -hmm. against Dak and Jason Garrett, mm -hmm. a.k.a. the clock. And the thing is, Garrett been there, like, almost over 10 years now? He's Too long. Yeah. And, and the thing is, like, Dallas never have a counter punch. And Dallas have this one form of the win. Is Z getting 40 touches? <laughs> or that's it. <laughs> and it's like, for real, like, for real. And the thing is like this. Amari Cooper, hey, he been killing, he been balling out. But the thing is, they have the corners with Trey Flowers, like, like low-key rookie, he been having a, like, a stellar season. And they got Shaq Griffin, who can run with him. He hurts, that's what's... That, and like, like, that, yeah, they got, got their brother, too. though. Really he's he's not a cornerback. Yeah, like, he's, like, he's, he's a linebacker, though. Yeah. But they, but they got Coleman, who like was a decent slot corner as well. But the thing is, can Cole Beasley really get open past ten yards? They proved and that. The it's a mark. And, and then it. like the other receiver, like their deep threat, that can't. Like let's be real, can that go past twenty yards? Oh, but even with Russell Wilson, man, low key been a top five QB this year. Yep. And I Russell agree. Wilson, and think about this. Mm -hmm. They changed their complete offense around. Old line haven't been the best, and despite everything, like in the lack of weapons too, Russell still threw for thirty five. 35 TDs and 7 picks. Kind of sounds similar to Deshaun Watson, don't you think? No, but see, the thing is, though, the old line's better, and number two, they have a far better coach, because Bill O'Brien's hot trash. <laughs> yeah, good point. And at the end of the day, Seattle will put eight men in the box, and they're going to double, they double Cooper, and they're going to dare Dak to beat him. Mm -hmm. So I've got 27-17. I think 
Russell Wilson will have a big game. Carson will probably go for a buck. I think they probably run for 175. Total, Carson may go 125. That's my X fact. Carson, okay. I told you, he's going to catch you. What you got, bro? Catch. I got Seattle 24 or 27, one of the two, to like 14 for Dallas. I think for the first half, it starts off close. Um, but I think second half, Russell Wilson just comes out and shows why he's a top five quarterback. Yeah, that was one first um, half. They play the same. You know what I mean? They both going to try to get the run established. But eventually, it's going to come down to the quarterbacks and coaching. Uh, you talking about Pete Carroll, football winning coach. He's not scared to gamble. You know what I mean? When it comes down to even with a lead, he's not scared to gamble. That cost him too. Now, it, 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 yeah, it did. And I don't even want to talk about that. But that, that was pitiful. But at the end of the day, Pete Carroll is not scared to gamble with a lead. And I think that Garrett is going to be playing defense the whole game. Unless they get lucky and get a lead. But I still trust Russell Wilson to uh, execute a comeback. Like, he's shown he's fearless. Even with subpar talent, he has Lockett and Baldwin as his top receivers. Neither one of them are... Uh, they none of us number, here. Number one on no None team. of us here. If we pick, uh, what is it, five of us, our first two receivers, we would not have either one of them. Nope. As our pick. No. Doug Baldwin will be a number three on the Falcons. Yeah, but he's taking them and he's making them look okay. I mean, what he had, 35 touchdowns, seven interceptions. Russell Wilson is a dog. I'm banking on Russell Wilson showing that he's a top five quarterback. He's a Super Bowl winning quarterback. Um, the defense, you still got. Um, What's his name? Um, Wagner. 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 Clark, too, have had a killer season. Mm, true, true. Mm. But Wagner, to me, is the best middle linebacker in the game. Um, him and Luke Keekley. Yeah, Luke Keekley is there with him. I'll take Wagner over Keekley. Mm. Um, and at the, middle, at the end of the day, the middle linebacker is your quarterback for the defense. So you got the best quarterback, the best middle linebacker. Vander Esch, he's nice, but big games. Wilson to eat him alive. Mm -hmm. Um... I got the Seahawks just off the strength of Russell Wilson. That's my X factor. Russell Wilson being a Super Bowl winning quarterback and fearless. What's your score? I give it if you said 24, 24, 24, 27 Seattle. But if I had to guess, I would say 27, 14, 27, 14. All right. I got Seattle 31 to 20. Dallas will score a garbage time touchdown with. With Zeke, but I think Zeke gonna be held to about seventy yards. Mm. They gonna win the first half. I think it's gonna be like ten to three. Dallas at halftime, but Russ gonna come out there and ball out on them in that second half. Mm. Chris Carson already gonna have about sixty yards at halftime. Yeah, but for whatever reason, I think they'll get one turnover. It ain't gonna be because of Russ. It's gonna be because of either a receiver, Rashard from? Penny. Coming in, yeah, or Mike Davis. Yeah, he Coming in, they gon' they might fumble. Demarcus Lawrence, mm -hmm. I think Demarcus like he a good player. He gonna catch one of them slip. But that second half is gonna be a whole nother animal. And the X factor is Bobby Wagner. Bobby Wagner, I guarantee you gonna pick off that and take it to the house. They gonna score a defensive touchdown on that. Mm -hmm. They only gonna score twenty four points on offense, but they gonna get that one touchdown, and Bobby Wagner gonna be the one to do it. I'm gonna be looking out for him. Hey, I'm out. Hold up, I like yeah. that. And yeah, Bobby Wagner, man, he's he a Hall of Fame in my opinion. I agree. Oh, yeah. If you keep up with yeah. the same. Yeah. Yeah. Even now, he's, he's still a Hall of Fame. Frank, like you said, Frank Clark been bowling. Yep. He's been the one making a difference when they decide to take Bobby Wagner out. Mm -hmm. He'll come in there and sack quarterback. Yeah, he got 13 sacks this year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that cool ass, he's gonna be home getting ready to do that next Campbell Soup commercial. Mm -hmm. Yeah, eventually. <laughs> and, uh, I, just, I think Zeke, that's Dallas's X Factor. Mm -hmm. Because this playoff game, and he ain't playing the Packers. The Packers didn't have the defense. You remember his first year when he was in the playoff? Mm -hmm. He bought out that game. I get that game. Yeah. Before he opened his mouth about that, that shit earlier, uh, he bought yeah. out. He played that game. Mm -hmm. But Aaron Rodgers was just done. So that's not going to happen again. Because this is a better defense, they're better coached. And Seattle to me is just better, uh, better of all team. My opinion, I think the Cowboys are gonna win. Mm. I knew that. Um, at first I like Seattle, just like I like the Houston Texans. You know, I sit there at the beginning of the week. I think what I like, I like Seattle. And as the week goes on, kept going on and on and on. I started thinking like, okay, do I really think Seattle gonna go in Dallas 
and beat them. Hmm. I can see it happening, but I don't think it's going to happen. One, you think it's the, the X Factor, Zeke Elliott. Who's going to stop him on Seattle? Uh, Bobby Wagner, Frank Clark, uh, Shane Griffin, Quinn uh, Jefferson, Pete Carroll. Pete Carroll. <laughs> All right, and are y'all not aware that the Cowboys line is back healthy? They two of them guards. Bro, we we was back in the game. Man, Zeke can be stopped. Zach, he was hurt. Zach Martin. Bro, we was one of the best guards. And Zeke only scored. They, 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 they had it. Yeah, the Falcons was hurt, and Zeke only scored. Zeke only had sixty nine yards against them. They could be stopped. But they they didn't be have stopped. Zach Martin all season. They didn't have him the last couple games. They had the other guy that got hurt. Tyron Smith. Yeah. They, they had him they had most, most of the season. Back. They didn't have him. They had Zach Martin all season. Like, like it's not Tyron Smith. No, they had Tyron Smith. Yeah. But they had Zach Martin. That's the best. The best player. That's the best guard in the game. If you want to ask me, to be honest. So. My opinion, um, I think Cowboys are gonna get it done. They're gonna run the ball, we're gonna keep running, running, running. And eventually, as you've seen, that's why Dak Prescott played the last game, because they're gonna start throwing the ball too. So they're gonna mix it up. The last run. Game. That was the Giants. But they they get they getting everything together. They run the play they need to, they get everybody on the same page. So, um I feel like the Giants not Giants, I'm slipping. The Cowboys <laughs> um, all right, I'm thinking something else. <laughs> um, the Cowboys offense, I think they're gonna have a good game against the Seahawks. Um, Russell Wilson is going to do a lot of amazing things. He has some clutch plays, but I think at the end of the game, he's going to do a Russell Wilson type play and throw it behind him like he had that turnover against Kansas City when he should have threw the ball away. He's he going he to have one of those type of moments where it's going to bite him in the ass. I think it's going to be 24-17 Dallas. Oh. Okay, 